Hello and welcome to this video on the control enter shortcut in Excel. This can be a really useful keyboard shortcut. So if you're not familiar with this shortcut or you don't tend to use it, stay tuned and hopefully this video will change your mind. So here we are in example number one of the control enter shortcut. And I've got the first name and last name of individuals in columns A and B. And we want to combine them in reverse order for full name. Now Excel provides many ways of doing this, but one of those methods is to use flash fill, an incredible feature of Excel. After typing the result we want, the plan would be to fill that cell down. And I know that if I press enter, to confirm what I've done and go to Excel's ready mode. By default, it takes me to the cell below. But by doing control enter, it will stay on that cell so I can follow it with control E, the keyboard shortcut of flash fill, and the task is done. Now, obviously that technique is not solely to be used for flash fill purposes. It is simply a scenario where you can enter a formula or value and use control enter to remain on the active cell. Another use of control enter is with formulas. And when you want to write a formula in a group of selected cells, or even more so non-adjacent cells. So in this example, I want to do a sum ifs in four different cells. Now if I select each of these four cells that are not in a contiguous used range, I can write my sum ifs function, or indeed this could be any formula. So I'll sum the current year and lock that. The criteria range will be the region column and I'll lock that. And then a relative reference to the cell above. I'm my active cell at the moment is D6, so the cell above is D5. That relative reference, i.e. cell above. So when I close that bracket and control enter, it will run that formula to all selected cells. So there are a few instances where having control enter allowing us to write a formula in multiple groups of selected cells can ease the burden of dragging and control C, control V in. For our final example, we want to fill down in the way that Power Query can. Those familiar with Power Queries fantastic fill down feature, often believe that Excel should function in the same way when filling down. But if I clicked on the cell for Birmingham and filled that down, I would just replace everything with Birmingham. And I don't want to do that. I want to fill those blanks with the value of the cell above. Now to select the blanks, I can select column A, do control G for go to, and then click on special, blanks, and OK. This will select all of the blank cells within that region. But notice there's only one active cell, which is cell A3 in this instance. I can write a formula of equals A2. So because the active cell is A3, the cell above is A2, a relative reference. Now I cannot just press enter as that will confirm that formula and move to the cell below, becoming the active cell. And I'll be repeating that task. So as I put that back in, it is control enter to repeat that formula, that simple reference to the cell above to all other cells, creating this field down. Now those cells do contain that formula, which I probably no longer want, so arrow up to get out of that cell, control shift down to select them, control C for copy, control shift V for paste values. And we have successfully filled down, mainly thanks to that control enter Excel shortcut. So these were just a few examples of the control enter shortcut Everyone loves a little shortcut, don't they? And if you can include that in your Excel pattern of work, 
then hopefully it can save you a lot of mouse clicking and unnecessary work in navigating a sheet, selecting areas, and copying values and formulas. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That always helps. And why not subscribe so that you receive the latest videos at this channel. Take care and I will see you again soon.